Clap it up. Clap it up. Jesus, let's clap. You asked for it. I did ask for it. I got what I asked for. You got exactly I what deserved you asked it. I deserved it. All right. James Harden. It's a comparison. Fours. Two of the nicest scorers. Straight up. Straight up scorers. Only one two way though. To be fair, his yeah, defense is up. <laughs> only one two way. <laughs> no, there's only one two way. One two way though. Only one does both. But I'm not talking about them. It's crep time. Who would you rather have? <sighs> Flo, you're asking some big questions you're on this channel right now. You're a GM. Who am I start my thing around? Who, in who my... would you rather have? Who's You've my pick? Paul George, a scrimmage, scrimmage ball. Okay. Yeah. You got first pick, Paul George and James Harden just walked into the gym. Who are you picking? They're both looking at you. Of course they are. I'm GM. <laughs> In three, two. Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. And for those who have not read the title today, we are comparing the Nike PG4 versus the Adidas Harden 4s. Let's get it. Yeah. Almost massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct Basketball. If you would like either the PG Fours or the Harden Fours, click the link in our description box below for the Pro Direct website where they will indeed take care of your basketball needs. As per, as per, as per. Paul George and James Harden. Their boys can score. Bro. That's one thing they can both do is score. Some of the best we've ever seen. Different ways, however you want it, they can deliver them. Yeah. Both of them are electric on the court. PG definitely more two-way, but Harden is a machine when we're talking that scoring. So two of them are incredible players to have. We just had the conversation, who you picking first at the scrimmage. It's a tough one. We ain't worried about scrimmage right now. No, we're not. It's about their crep. They're both on four, so let's see who's got it. Let's get straight into it. Firstly, talking about aesthetics, I think we can all agree that it's a PG 14. It is. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Nike smacked it. It's a very simple look, but simple bangs in this case, yep. because that thick midsole, the shrouds, yep. and even the mesh on the medial part as well, where you can see uh, the, the lacing system all comes together really nicely. The shoe bangs, bro. Yeah, it was cold. It was very, very cold. The yeah. shoe bangs. You got first pick, Paul George and James Harden just walked into the gym. Who are you picking? They're both looking at you. Of course they are. I'm GM. <laughs> they're both looking at you. Of course they're going to look at me. Who are you picking? Am I picking PG or Harden? To win this scrimmage. It literally all the... Ah, uh, scrimmage. To win this scrimmage is first team to seven twos and ones. Give me 11. Game 11. Game twos 11, and twos and ones. I'm picking Harden. Picking Harden, yeah? I'm picking Harden. Say nothing, I'll pick PG. I'm picking Harden. For a scrimmage, bro. We see no fouls. For a scrimmage, bro. Ooh, no fouls, which means I might pick PG. It's too late. You picked Harden. You picked Harden, it's too late. I got PG, bro. You've okay. lost. <laughs> Actually, if Harden's feeling it and he goes off, it's, that's it. It's done for everyone. Well, that, but the only way to stop Harden is to foul his off. He ain't scoring if you're, up, if you're under him on the shot. Well, if you foul him, then you get the, he gets the ball back, innit? True. So you, keep, you can't keep fouling him then, because then he it can. makes you look trash. That's fine by me. No. But then if you do foul him, then he scores an and one in your face from the three-point line, four-point play. <sighs> that's a good question. Do you want Harden And you know, the peak, is, the peak is... Hit, getting a four point play in a scrimmage is peak. Because, you can't get a three four point play in a scrimmage. But it's still, like. You, I mean, getting one. Like, and one, three, three like, it's, it's, it's tough, bro. Because you only get the three points. You only get the two in this fact, and then you just get the ball, and that's it. That's, that's it. It's a four point play, but you're only getting two points. It's a scrimmage. But this is set. This is a really PG, good question. I can see PG, like, dunking on guys. Yeah, the athleticism's there. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I'll stick with Harden. I'll stick with Harden. Go Harden, yeah. I'll stick with Harden because this Harden's this, more of a risk. I, I agree. Harden's he's more, more risky. More risky. But if that boy is hot. Yeah, he's the most dangerous. That's a score. He's only got to score, what, yeah. six times? He's the most dangerous. Six times and the game's done. Yeah. You're finished. You're finished. Harden it is. Right, let's go. <laughs> Moving swiftly on into the traction. Now, the point definitely goes to the PGs and knees. The traction was second to none in, in this case. Actually inspired by the midsole cushioning with the circles and the stripes. Yeah. It, the bite was fantastic. Yeah. The Harden was good, but it wasn't... Yeah. yeah, dust collection was a little bit more prevalent here. There you go. I did have to work a couple of more times. The point definitely goes to the PGs. Outdoor usage as well. I'd go PGs for sure. 
Hey, yo, real quick, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you like this video. Comment down below what your thoughts are of this comparison. Do you prefer the PGs or the Hardens? And of course, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you want to be a G, hit the bell to stay notified every time we drop a new video. Next up, talking about the cushioning. Now, this is a tough one. I agree. But once again, the point goes to the PG4s. That full length Nike Air Strobel unit feels absolutely incredible. It's next. I mean, it's, it's overwhelmingly next. comfortable. The next thing. The Nike, they tried to make this shoe feel like clouds in your feet and they definitely accomplished that. And by no means is light striking the hard one for not good. No, it's exactly. definitely a tough one between these two. But Nike Air Strobel all the way for the win. Next up, talking about the materials, the point definitely has to go to the hardens on these. Yeah, it's sure. a medley of suede, mesh, leather, elastic, synthetics, but it's mixed up the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, Seasoned correctly, they all came together amazingly. Really, really well, felt nice on foot. The PG did have really nice materials too. More minimalistic, we had kind of the mesh shroud, we got the leather on the touches on the inside um, and on the heel as well. And the zipper, I guess, was still a material. Yeah. All came together well. It can't hold a candle to the hardened. It just can't. They was too buff. Too, too buff. And durable. Bro. Next up, talking about the fit. Now, this again is another tough category. Mm. I actually had to fight Timmy Tough on this one. Yeah, no, no, I But the harden came out on top. I give it to you. Yeah, the yeah. fit banged in this shoe, bro. It did. And it comes mainly from two things. The first being that dynamic lacing system, which allows you to adjust the lacing system and put the, the laces in different holes and also that elastic band across the midfoot as well. Really make sure you're locked in That's right. and provide you that nice dynamic fit, which is lacking a little bit in the PGs, mm. yeah? But, you know, the, the harder takes the cake on this one. I will say the zipper on the PG did help with that containment, so yeah. the fit around the lateral did feel amazing after lacing the shoe up. But you got the same thing with the elastic and the dynamic. It's a harder, it's a harder, it's a harder, it's a harder. Next, we're talking about the support. Now the point goes to the hardening in these. Why? Because just like we mentioned, the fit and materials were just so overwhelmingly good that the support is also gonna follow on that. Yeah. The materials were the best ones used, so they were durable, structured, but also lightweight and flexible. Yeah. And then the fit of the shoe was that elastic and dynamic lacing. Can't be touched. Can't be touched, bro. They're both also low top shoes. So a big aspect of these is feeling mentally supported. That's right. Yeah. And I did feel more supported on the hard I have to agree. PG, I have so to agree. The point has to go to the, to the hard end. Last and most certainly not least, we have price slash value slash Flo's favorite category. Okay. On one hand, we have the hardens priced at 110 pounds. And on the other, Timmy's hands, we have the PGs, which are priced at 105 pounds. Okay. Now the way we decided the winner mm -hmm. of this category. We asked ourselves, if we had 110 pounds, yeah. would we rather go to the Adidas store mm -hmm. and cop the Hardens, mm -hmm. or would we go to the Nike store, cop the PGs, get our five pound chains, That's right. and go make these bars a young cheeseburger and Little fries, one. and maybe a small tango to go with the thing. Or a salad, or a salad, the hoopers, or a salad, or a salad, a salad could work. I think you guys know what the answer is. The point goes to the PG box. Come on, I love to change, bro. Little five pound change, right after the hooping session. Little smoothie, little little salad, little McDee's, little treat. Come on, oh, bro. come on, man. Come on, it's come a happy on. meal right there. It's happy times. So looking at all the categories, it's four three to the PG4 coming out on top with things like price, aesthetic, cushioning, and traction as well. Yeah, it did its thing. It did its thing, bro. I only wish that the Harden had better traction. Yeah, I only edged. wish. The traction wasn't bad. It might have edged. It was just a little bit tough yep. and inconsistent on your dusty courts. So well done, PG4s. Well done. Yeah. I mean, one might argue that the PG1 with those two that aren't quite performance specific. Yes. The price and the aesthetic. However, they are two very important categories, I yes. think. You do want to look good and you do want to get a great value for your money. 100. So, both are in there, but the PG takes the cake on yeah. that. That is everything from us. Like we mentioned before, massive shout out to the family over at Pro Direct Basketball. If you would like either of these shoes, click the link in the description box below. Pro Direct Basketball website is there. That's right. And live life. That's right. 
So right guys, that's everything from us. This is the Nike PG4. This is the Harden Volume 4. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.